Hey, St. Paul's, this is Father Jim with our next week's chapel moment. I hope everyone is doing well. It's good to see you. Um, I'm standing here for a reason. This is uh, the oldest window in our church. It's one of the original windows from the original parish uh, lots and lots of years ago. And I love this because um, not only the, the message that it sends, but how it goes along with what happened uh, with Jesus this week. And it says, my peace I give unto you. And so it's kind of the peace window. And Jesus is uh, still after the resurrection. It's called again, the great 50 days from the time that he resurrected to the time that he ascends in the time of Pentecost. And he is in the upper room where everything is locked. And he's again with his disciples and they're surprised, but he, he breathes what's called his Holy Spirit on them. And he says, my peace be with you. Um, what does peace really look like? Uh, there's a lot of lack of peace in our life today, a lot of worry and a lot of fear, a lot of issues that take place. And it's helpful to know that peace comes from the knowledge of having God in our life. There's an old phrase that uh, you may have heard. It says, don't tell God how big your storm is. Tell your storm how big your God is. And so uh, understanding where God's peace is uh, comes from also truth. If there's no truth in our life, there can't be any peace. Um, my daddy used to always tell me, don't have to be smart to be honest, because then you don't have to cover, if you lie, you don't have to cover your lies. Um, you just have to be honest. And we are living definitely in an age of what's called mendacity. Uh, for those of you that are older in middle school, you guys can look that up. That'll be a, uh, a bonus word. But it really does talk about how we talk honestly to one another. And so it's why it's so important right now that what we learn from God isn't just, okay, it's another chapel moment. It's character building. It's understanding what builds your character as we get older and telling the truth, no matter how hard it is, always speaks to character because there's a difference. There's a thing called the Beatitudes in the Bible. It's in chapter five of Matthew. And he begins to talk about how the new world is gonna look under Jesus Christ. And he talks about blessed are the peacemakers. Now there's a difference between peacemaking and peacekeeping. Peacekeeping is when we say whatever we think we need to say to make sure that everybody's happy. Um, that's sometimes not honest. Peacemaking is speaking truth and finding a way to live with one another, acknowledging our differences and loving each other no matter what, because God calls us to love him with all our mind, heart and strength and soul, but also to love our neighbors as ourselves. And that means extending the fact that they might have different thoughts, different practices than we do, but we still extend God's love. And so walking by truth, I can tell you as a guy that's been through a lot in his life, um, I've done the other thing, I've walked uh, and try to be deceptive and try to hide things uh, in my younger days. And you know what? It doesn't work. Uh, people always find out and then you got to come clean. And so to walk in truth, especially in the truth of God, will give you the peace that this window talks about and help you understand that there is a better way to do it. It might be harder, but it's always better. Sometimes the easy things are not the best things for us. They're a quick fix and uh, they don't help very much. But character, truth, honesty, love, compassion, grace. In fact, the fruit of the Spirit talks about these things, that when we're living in God's will, when we're living in God's Spirit, that we reflect what's called the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Um, when we practice these things, we're living in God's world because when we're in God's presence, we're supposed to be changed. We're not supposed to be selfish. We're not supposed to look out for ourselves. To be uh, uh, honest is what God calls us to do because that's what Jesus did for us, that he is the way, the truth, and the life, it says. And it goes like this. If you follow what Jesus tells us, you got a lot better chance of your life uh, being and, and turning out better. Does that mean things won't happen to you? No, because we live in a broken world. But knowing that God is in our life helps. So the way is to follow what Jesus teaches us. The truth 
is how we do that with one another. And through that, we get not only a better life in this life, but eternal life and the life to come. And so uh, Jesus is in that upper room, breathing the Holy Spirit upon them, telling them, my peace be with you. And then he sits down and he eats a meal because they still think he's kind of a ghost instead of the resurrected Jesus. And he shows that he is flesh and blood and renewed and resurrected for you and for me so that we can have that life of joy and of blessing. So uh, I hope this is the way you can put these into practices in your life. Yeah, it's hard some days, it surely is, especially when the whole world thinks that the truth is one thing, but you know that the truth is of God and it's something else. Stand firm and uh, hold on to the faith. And that's what the disciples did. And because of those 12 people, 2,000 years later, we're all still talking about Jesus Christ. So um, good luck, hold fast, be at peace, because that's what God wants for us is joy and peace and patience and kindness in our life. And as we give it away, guess what? We got a much better chance of getting it back to as we love our neighbors as ourselves. Everybody, it's good to see you. God bless you. And let us uh, close in prayer uh, like we normally do with our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive others who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Amen and amen. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. Take care of one another. Be kind and uh, love God with all your heart, soul, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. And in the name of the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and our Lord Jesus Christ, who is resurrected, God bless you, and I hope to see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.